Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we're making some chicken tikka masala curry with some rice. First things first, marinate your chicken with about two tablespoons of natural yogurt, um, a tablespoon or just less if you'd like of salt, one tablespoon of minced garlic and ginger, um, a pinch of turmeric and about one tablespoon of cumin and most importantly lemon juice. Mix that up and then basically put it in the fridge for about an hour. Once that's done, you want to take it out of the fridge and just basically put your chicken on skewers and prepare them to go into the oven. Yeah, you could just say this is for your vegan, you know, your vegan friendly yeah, version. Basically, I'm on a meat cleanse. I'm on a meat cleanse personally myself. So I don't want to, I'm sick of having chicken and lamb. So I thought, why don't I get jackfruit, which is the nearest sort of meaty sort of textury sort of fruit or veg out there and jackfruit literally has a texture of like chicken in a weird way but it's actually fruit so i'm going for the vegan free option i've, I've marinated it exactly the same as she's done i'm not sure if it's actually going to work not with the same mix okay because you got raw chicken and no, you got... i've just put in the same ingredients in a separate bowl as you can see i don't know if it's actually so going to work but we'll see. All right, so I'll let you know how it goes after this. Okay. Once that's done, I'm just gonna peel my potatoes. I used about four small potatoes them into smaller cubes and I also used one medium sized onion. And then I just chopped up some coriander. And then I basically just used about a cup and a half of rice. I like to soak my rice about half an hour prior to cooking it just because it's a lot easier to cook and it's a lot fluffier in the end as well. And then I'm going to start on the curry itself. I used about two tablespoons of olive oil and about two tablespoons of butter as well. All the ingredients and everything will be in the description box, don't you worry. And then I added in my onions and basically like two minutes later I added in my potatoes because they take quite some time to cook. So it will be best to kind of cook them with the onions as you go along. Once the onions have gone brown, you want to add in about one tablespoon of minced garlic and ginger again, two tablespoons of garam masala, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of turmeric, and a bit of chili if you'd like. If you don't want chili, then that's fine too. And about a tablespoon of salt, and then just mix that up. I also added in some lemon juice as well. And that's what Adam's jackfruit looked like after we took it out of the oven. And then we added in about one can of chopped tomatoes, cooked that for about five to 10 minutes. My chicken was ready at this point and boy, did it look good and taste even better. And then I added in about half a tub of double cream. You can use less, but we wanted it creamy. And then I added in the chicken. I did separate Adam's um, kind of sauce before adding in my chicken because he wanted no trace of any meat or chicken in his. And then that's all done and you wanna garnish it with some coriander. I just let mine cook for an extra five minutes just so that the chicken kind of soaks in with it. And that's all done. All the ingredients and measurements will be in the description box. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I sure am enjoying recording them and not so much editing them, but recording them. Um, if you do enjoy it, do subscribe and like, thank you.